They are indeed. About uh, dozens of volunteers actually showed up uh, here in the Boston Edison District to hand out nearly two to three hundred flyers like this one you see right on my phone. And they're not giving up any hope in regards to this. And, you know, friends, family, former patients and neighbors are frustrated that whoever killed Dr. Hoover in April is still out there. Dr. Hoover was found again murdered with two gunshot wounds in the head in his attic by police after a welfare check that was requested by his family. Volunteers with Crime Stoppers hit the pavement yesterday, putting flyers on cars, utility poles, and then also dropping them off at houses and local businesses. And those who live nearby are frustrated that police did not canvass the neighborhood after his murder. And the fact that no one talked to any of the neighbors, no one talked to this community, and that's how you get to points of information and connect the dots for this murder. Yeah, no leads and the person in, the, the person who committed this crime is still walking around and, and this community is still vulnerable. And Crime Stoppers community response team was contacted by Dr. Hoover's family to hit the ground and pass out these flyers. And they're offering a $22,500 reward for any information that would lead to an arrest in this case and bring justice for Dr. Hoover's family. We're trying to get tips. Uh, trying to get information uh, related to this crime. Uh, the Hoover family and uh, the doctor deserve these answers. Uh, as people out here in the community know what happened, the killer even watching it. And again, this is the poster that they were going around and putting on cars, utility poles, dropping them off at people's houses and also local businesses. DPD Homicide is still actively investigating this case. And if you do have any information regarding Dr. Hoover's murder, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Again, a $22,500 reward is being offered. Reporting in the Boston Edison District, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Yeah.